kick it. The ideal way to discover the heart of the city is with a horse carriage. It'll take you to the medieval center along the canals and over the typical small bridges. And all of that on the rhythm of the horse's trot. Just perfect. For centuries, unmarried women and widows joined the Catholic order of the Biggins. They lived in religious communities like this one and made a living by making lace with religious motifs. streets of Bruges and you'll soon discover that the shopping possibilities are endless. Belgian chocolate, antiques and of course, lace. Throughout many centuries, lace was the fashion item for the rich and famous in Europe and Bruges is the cradle of lace. If you love the French Provence and beauty products, this is your place to begin. L'Occitan beauty products are a true art de vivre devoted to your own. After an exhausting day, it's time to relax. <sighs> what a life. Nothing like a solid breakfast and a good coffee to start off the day. You can get the 
the chance, you should definitely pay a visit to the Groningen Museum, the Museum of Fine Arts in Bruges. It displays a collection of six centuries of Flemish paintings, and especially the masterpieces of the Flemish primitives are worth a while. This is the museum's masterpiece, the Madonna with Joris van der Palen. Van Eyck painted this in 1436 and it's so amazing. I mean, look at all the details in the fabric. Bruges is a small city nonetheless, it has many excellent places to dine out. Can you believe it has six Michelin star restaurants and uh, this is one of them. The Carmelite has no less than three stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa.